Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about X-ray tutorials as our current ongoing series. Uh, as a part of our previous tutorial, we explored about how to write and create tests as a part of the X-ray management. And now we will be getting into the next part of it, which is to talk about creating a precondition. Just on a quick outline, a precondition is just like a prerequisite for a test case where some of the criteria need to be met before you can actually run the test. This is where the preconditions would be defined as a part of any test which you write, which makes us clear that all the dependencies have been removed. At the same time, what are those things which need to be done before running a particular test case is done or not? Now that's what the precondition is all about and X-Ray completely adheres to that principle. Now today we'll be understanding in our X-Ray that we have written few test cases, how to define a precondition, how an independent precondition issue type can be associated with multiple tests as well. So let's get into the X-Ray and quickly explore what is precondition and how to create that in X-Ray as a part of Jira. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to create a precondition in X-Ray and after creating a precondition, how to associate it to a particular test. So as a part of our previous tutorials, we in fact created few of the test cases, uh, including the test issue type and tried understanding how to create a test and call an existing test under particular test items. Now it's time for us to understand how do we associate a precondition. So let's uh, pick up a particular scenario. For example, I pick up a test here and that certainly gives me the details of the test cases. So for example, I've got a few tests being called in here uh, for a user to log in with other valid uh, details on the Daily Hand New app. Uh, even if I go back to quickly uh, the, you know, all the issues, I in fact have created uh, the several issues here. Uh, let me just go to the particular test which we created. So as a tester that a user can register, as a tester where a registered uh, user can log in. So I'm trying to pick up this particular test which is our baseline and we'll be trying to create a new uh, precondition for this, right? Because when it comes to writing test cases, a test case is incomplete without having the proper preconditions associated with this. So there are several ways to quickly create a precondition. If you want, you can create the precondition in advance and associate it to any other you know, test being created on the way. And second thing would be uh, if you have created the test already, you can still create a precondition by just clicking on the create button and selecting the issue type as precondition here, right? So you can do that similar thing. Or even if you click on uh, the precondition tab under a test, and if you say you find there there are no preconditions as of now, would you like to add the existing or create a new precondition? It will still take you to the same tab or same particular dialog box where you create a new precondition, right? So here if you say it's the same window which you got in the create one. So let's create a precondition. But before that, let's understand what is this test all about and what could be the precondition so we sound a little logical, right? So as a tester, validate that a registered user can log in on Daily Hunt News app. So on this particular scenario, I will have uh, two preconditions. So let me uh, click on create a new precondition and also uh, define the precondition as uh, Daily Hunt News app. Okay, news app must be installed and accessible. That's what the precondition look like. Right? And unless we have the Daily Hand News app, we cannot just try logging in on that particular device. If you need, uh, you can have an owner for this. You can define uh, a kind of fixed version. Or if you think that that's not going to help us uh, in terms of having a fixed version or having an ownership on the precondition, it's just a prerequisite which should be associated with test, then you can ask your Jira admin to customize these fields and remove it from the screen of a precondition. Right? Again, linking the issue, a precondition probably may not have relationship. Uh, it's just going to be associated or called in a particular test, so not really required. So all these fields can be removed 
from the customization of the screen and ask your the Jira admin to do that. So I'll just fill in up this particular information and reporter and click on create. But I want to create some more, so I'll just click on create another and click on create. So let me just create one more precondition and that precondition will be uh, user must be registered on the Daily Hand News app, right? It certainly makes very sense that uh, until once you are registered, you cannot log in onto the page. So click on create here and we are pretty much done. And you would find that as we created a precondition right from this window, you would see them associated to this particular test already. So let me just refresh this page and uh, try quickly uh, vis visiting that what exactly we have got here as a precondition now. So the moment the details page uh, gets loaded, I must see uh, the precondition as well listed there. So just give me a moment here. Seems like uh, this server is slightly slow today. All right, so my data is loaded. If I go to the precondition, I would find, uh, oh, sorry, I just created, so let, let me add. You should have added it as well. I'm not sure why that did not happen. So these are the two things, let's add selected. Oh yes, uh, of course, so when you create a new precondition, you have not told them that it should be associated with the test. So creating a precondition is different and associating to a particular test is different. Now. This is how we can associate a well-created precondition, but there's no uh, kind of you know uh, protocol that a precondition should always be created uh, before creating a test. Though the testing principle says that a precondition should be listed before creating a test, so that it will be easy for you to quickly associate it. But at any point, if you think you are missing a precondition which was not defined earlier, you can always do that. So here you can go ahead and add conditions or define the preconditions at any time. Even a precondition status will be there. So you can even decide what could be the precondition status. When it comes to execution, a precondition should be fulfilled, right? That's where you'll be marking a precondition as to do or in progress or probably like completed and so on. So this is how a precondition can be created and associated with a particular test. Let's quickly iterate this activity just to make sure that we got it. So I'll go to another test and uh, try associating a precondition there as well. For example, I would like to uh, link it to registered users can log in, right? And this is for, sorry, we did, did for this one. Let's create a user can register on the daily hand tab. And for this, the prerequisite or precondition is only to have the daily hand news app uh, as a part of it. Let me also meanwhile assign this to someone who can take care of this. And uh, here we will not be using both the precondition because this is about registering on the Daily Hunt News app. So the precondition would remain single. That is, Daily Hunt News app must be installed. So what I wanted to show you by doing this exercise and just linking one of the precondition uh, to this test, whereas the other one had two, uh, is to tell you that no matter you may have 10 preconditions defined in your Jira project, but it's up to you what preconditions apply to a particular test and define uh, or associate only those preconditions which are applicable to a particular test. Not really mandatory that all the preconditions will by default come to a test. So you can take a call and decide on uh, whether a prerequisite is applicable for a particular test or not and only call those, right? And in fact, at any point, if you want to resequence it or rearrange it, you can drag and drop and sequence them accordingly. That what should be checked first, what should not be checked at the first point, or what should be the order of order of preconditions when it comes to execution. So all these details will be visible to you when you go to the test execution, and you can start with a precondition uh, satisfactory no, satisfaction first, and then go with the execution of the test. So right now we know how to create the test cases. We know how to create a precondition. And now it's time for us to learn the next things like how to make use of a test set, a test plan, and execute a test. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I hope you got a good understanding of uh, working on the preconditions. We'll be looking forward to understand more about this and uh, exploring the other options. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. 
Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.